We settled on the Brooklyn Nets, and what I thought was funny is they put these jerseys on by default. We might change ours, but the Nets are in their old school one, and I guess that's going to be fine because we can wear our black unis or whatever we want now. I'm good. Let's do it. I don't remember how to play this game. I'm still mad we don't have the blue ones. Uh, that's right. We don't have a couple of the good ones, like the black ones, because they, for some reason, are locked to when you started the file. There's black right there. You're right. That That's black. really good. This is fine with me. Also, well those Nets jerseys are very good. They're soft. Of course. I really I, like nineteen seventies basketball jerseys. They just they're, they're so fun. I, I do have an issue with the the new trend of road teams wearing white in basketball. It just feels off. It's stupid. I don't like it, but I kind of realized why over the years, and it's because you just can't have as many alternate jerseys and show them off in front of your home crowd if you wear white. Yep. Yeah, I get it, but also. I, it's I, also I'm, wrong. I'm, I'm a traditionalist. So like you know, hockey used to have the home team wear whites. They don't anymore. Thank God. You know, but like this one in particular just feels wrong. But then again, like we love the Valley jerseys and we wouldn't have worn those at home if that was the rule. So I don't know. Which I feel funny because football seems to stay with that tradition the most. Football actually can pick. The best game, the best jersey combos are like UCLA, USC, where it's like, ooh, that's a good mix of colors. I like that. You know, I mean, the other day we had like. Us and our blue jerseys, which do not say Phoenix whatsoever. And the, and the Jazz and their, their classic purple, which I like that jersey, but now we have blue and purple playing each other, and you're like, that, ah, no. Right. Or the, the Thunder were in orange and we were in blue, and I'm like, this feels off. Mm. <laughs> By the way, I respect some of these pregame elements and whatnot, but this is too many. Like They're doing all of them at once right now. <laughs> here's the National Anthem, and here's the pregame video, and here's David Aldridge, and I'm like, how many fucking things do I have to skip? <laughs> Meanwhile, when I turn on Madden, I hold down a button and I'm playing the game like five seconds after I... Yeah, or the it. show, or it's too much. It's too much. Again, they're going for this immersive experience and I respect the work on it, but I'm like, sometimes I just want to play the video game. Yeah, it's it's fun in instances, but it's got to be Wait, it's got to be Madden. put through other aspects. Yeah, it can't be time. just like the, okay, well, I'm going to make this like a TV show. Well, the game already takes an hour to play at least. <laughs> You know, it's 48 minutes if you do a full game. That's just of game time, much yeah. less if you actually do anything else. And sure, we're skipping commercials, but... Yeah. Uh, I, am I blue? Orange, You're, orange. I You're okay. one of the sun's colors. Cool. There you go. Orange. There you go. I love it. All right. I think we got orange. It. Let's see if it's stuck, because there's always that chance that somebody overlapped and it didn't take. Let's see. I'm me. I'm me. Good. Looks good. I think we did it, everybody. Oh, my God. It crashes. <laughs> Oh my God! Andy want a tip. Look so this was this. this was funny because we have there we go. Uh, we have Harden and Durant on the Nets. Yep. Hmm. That's fun. Not on the Suns though. That was just the way it was drafted. Well, there's a Harden on our team too, but that's true. <laughs> that's the complications the, of the multiverse. We have the fatter one. Of course, I like the fact that we have our one non-human player guarding Durant. This is a great also, position for them so far. <laughs> okay. It was. It was really good. Okay. Ah, okay. Turn around. Oh. Sean's gonna score all the points. I'm gonna get Sean all the points. He didn't know how to play. It's kind of me not knowing how to play, so I'm just like, shoot it, just like get it out of my hand. <laughs> Too much pressure. <laughs> oh, dang it! My fault, guys. Oh, yeah, I hedged. Whoa! He was actually open. I yeah. <laughs> Jesus. Bye, Jojo White. Not Jojo White. I know we always say this, but you dwarfing Kevin Garnett is pretty wild. Yeah. Well, wonderful. just wait till he stands next to Shaq. Yeah, Shaq looks, looks really like just a fat baby next to him. <laughs> and he is. Look at that perfect I, shot. I just can't stand Shaq on inside the NBA. Just, I'll say it. I hate him. Why? On there. He's Why? always been kind of a bully. He's a bully, and he, his points aren't that great, and he openly admits he doesn't watch any games. Like, isn't he just a shittier version of Barkley? Like, yes. Uh, really? With worse takes. God. No, I love Barkley, though. So that I lo Oh, I love Barkley. Yeah, but you only need one of them, and if you have a uh, shittier one, it sounds like fair. it's excessive. Yeah, and let's that's be clear, thing. none of them have good takes. No. Yeah, Barkley, Charles is, is, Barkley is good off the show at takes sometimes. Yeah. He has good takes in him, but that, that, that shows about entertainment. It has nothing to do with basketball. And that's why Shaq sucks at it. He's not entertaining at all on that show. Well, he's a bully. I mean, Shaq in a fool is good. 
They just that's not the one art. exception. They just find a couple bits for him. And then, yeah, but that's because like, of the editors. That's yeah. a lot because of the editors, yes. yes. And <laughs> you also have to wonder how much of the commentary is Shaq it's and how scripted. much is the script. You can tell he's reading. Well, he well, proved he can read. That's cool. But Chris, I like to think that like he's reading, but he has come up with some of those bits. You know, um, I like to, th- and I'm probably wrong. What the fuck is happening? I don't know if he's. I mean, maybe, maybe he's more involved than we thought. But Pro- it doesn't seem like a right? thing he would do. <laughs> no, I think they have one shot. Yeah, so like what the fuck is happening? Well, they have two shots. One hit the side of the backboard. <laughs> and uh, that goes in all things. When I, when I hear uh, his takes in the show. And then I listen to Shock and the Fool. I think you're right. Of like, this is a lot more clever than he usually. Because I'm like, it's a time problem. Where like, is is he really like spending time before the show goes live, like working on scripts, to put in teleprompter, no. and no, he's not doing that. He's I mean, Shaq. I mean, our, most of the former athletes people are probably not really doing. That. And like, Shaq has been super generous with children. Um, mm-hmm. It's one of the best. Like his philanthropy is great because you know he's trying to get back to what he didn't have as a kid. Like he's done some really good stuff. He's also an oversized baby, so yep. to go full circle, like, yeah, that's that's part of the problem is... He makes really mediocre pizzas now. He hasn't been smaller than anybody for about 40 <laughs> years, and he doesn't remember what it's like. <laughs> can we can oh. we get um, J.J. Redick, like, no. more involved no. in things? No, people don't really like him. Because he's good? Yes. He's, he's, he, he's better in the form of way, where you're going to go find him. It's what we talked about with gamb- the gambling stuff. No one from a the wide audience of things is going to want to listen to the, the logical shit he says. Oh, boy. Switch back. Okay, I, got it. I got it. Yeah. I got it. <laughs> what? What? Oh, shot clock. What? Oh, it was the shot clock. Oh, no. Wow. What? That's, that's depressing to me. That no, well, that rebound. play, but also that no one wants measured takes. No, no one wants. They to only want to hear you again. JJ Reddick's perfect in a podcast form where someone who wants the oh text boy. like that. Even even JJ Reddick has been sort of. I, I mean, it's not his fault, but he's fallen victim to this because what's he most famous for? Taking down Mad Dog, taking down Kendrick yeah. Perkins, and those are the fucking like shit talking merchants. Like he gets yeah. baited into their world of bullshit, and yeah. he has to be the voice of. When reason. he goes viral, it's by being a regular person next to these fucking yeah. idiots, which any of you could do. Like, Mad Dog is one of the worst, by the way. Oh, he's like, absolutely he's, one of the worst. Oh, massive back. That was a great wow. play. Yeah. I didn't know how wow. open I was going to be either because it was off camera, and then all of a sudden... He's kind of walked into a three. Yeah. <laughs> I'll take it. Let me tell you how many takes are the exact same. A player goes down, and they're like, this team is done. <laughs> this team is done. Sounds about right. Paul George gets hurt. This team is done. done. We're there. Look, they're in bad. I mean, it's going to be rough, but he might be back for the playoffs or maybe. I mean, okay. their road got harder. I, they're the Clippers. They have Kawhi. I don't think they're just automatically the season's over. No. Nope. Also, on the flip side, I, got I really nice. enjoyed. I'm falling out of bounds. I enjoyed the Kevin Durant's back. Uh, so the Suns are clearly the, sh- the the clear contenders. It's like, okay. I mean, I agree, but whoa. <laughs> Yeah, I yeah. Win, D- Dave. It was the same take. Suns are done. Yeah. Once he got hurt, even though he was never going to miss the playoffs, the Suns are yeah. done. And you know, 15, 20 years ago, a player of Durant's magnitude missing time, we might have been done. But every team's got fucking injuries. Yeah. Yes. We can't be done every time every team has an injury because everyone has one every other day. And Luca will just get himself suspended. So you know, it's fine. You know, I was wondering, I was like, man, the NBA just like sucks this year. And then I was like, you know what? It's probably every team is actually really good. Yeah. Yes. There's been so many injuries. It's just kind of leveled the playing field. There's injuries, but also like bad teams can beat good teams more regularly. I There's think, never been this before. much talent in the NBA. Yeah. There's never been like, look how good, like the, like the Rockets suck. They have some good young talent on that roster. Yep. Oh, what? there's some that- things to be excited about. I don't know if Jalen Green's any good, but like. <laughs> He's got upside still, and that's, you know. <laughs> Who do you guys want to miss the playoffs more, the Mavs or the Lakers? Mavs. Mavs. Mavericks. I had a feeling that's and, where we were at. And now. I shouldn't <laughs> because Lakers would scare me more if they yep. could really get healthy. Also yeah. true. Still don't care. That's why I was. I just hate the Mavs. Mavs. That's why I asked because I yeah. feel like the Lakers are more of a threat than yep. the Mavs are. Yep. Yeah. But your hatred oh, of the Mavs is so far the deal. down. We're not I don't even barely the hate these Lakers. Any, I mean, like, I hate Lakers on principle kind you'll, of. You'll hate like, them when they start getting healthy and playing again. Yeah, I mean, I guess. but Cody. What? The only thing the Lakers can do is play the one seed or two seed. We're not going to play them in the playoffs. Well, so it's it was the same problem. So, like, the Clippers and Lakers have been through a similar cycle. What happened with the Clippers? Well, they had, you know, fucking Patrick Beverly and Russell Westbrook and all these other players that we despise, right? Marcus mm-hmm. Morris. Like, yeah. 
Lakers, same idea, right? They also had Russell Westbrook. They also had Patrick Beverly. <laughs> they also had Rajon Rondo. Like, all these players that are assholes. But then, nowadays, who's left? Like, I don't hate LeBron. I'm not a huge I fan. I don't hate AD. AD's a big no, baby. I, I know. Just like, if you were to run into play them, they would agitate the shit out of you. Oh, probably. Yeah. Probably, yeah. but again, the main agitators in that series weren't even those guys. It was Andre Drummond doing fool shit on the bench. A guy who can't get on the floor, but he's acting the fool on the sideline, and then he gets his shit pushed in on him. So, like, bye. Yep. See you at home. So, it's the same thing with the Clippers. I don't hate Kawhi, and I think Paul George is a little overrated. I don't hate him either. Oh, like, I to go. But, you know, do I hit? So, like, if the main stars are the ones who are still there and all the side pieces have changed, like, I don't hate, like, Jared Vanderbilt. I'll probably be agitated by him if we played him in a series, but. Yeah. I got nothing against Malik Beasley. Like I, I honestly, <laughs> Portland hate the Pelicans more than I hate LA right yeah. now. Kinda. So yeah, I that's what I, a, a reflection of any one of their play. Like yeah, Alvarado's annoying, but like yeah, Brandon Ingram is like a good dude. CJ McCollum's one of the best interviews in the NBA. Zion, yeah. while a little overhyped, has done nothing wrong. Like I, I do hate that. I heard uh, Alvarado was on a podcast and said that yeah, we're definitely you know. Want to get revenge on the Suns? I'm like, bitch, you were on eight seed, all right? Yeah, yeah it was on Red X podcast, oh, yeah. actually. Yeah. Ah, too late. Well, maybe. Yeah, you can't agree. <laughs> You're outscoring them, Sean. Sweet. You have 17 to their 16. Good job. <laughs> Can I'm you keep it up? The bar now. This is fun. They've got just nothing here. Oh boy. Well, this is the problem we've seen with some of these rosters where it looks like they make sense, but then the majority of their touches don't go through what? their players that really need them. Yeah. yeah. It's like, what has Durant done in this game so far? Yeah, the, I think Shaq's right got half their points against me. But it's Shaq, so like, you're like, okay, yeah, like Shaq's good. We can we can see that. Oh, nice. Oh, that was weird. Oh, they're playing them together, I just realized, too, yeah. Yes. Which is an odd pairing. <laughs> Oh, yeah, it uh, does not work in today's NBA. And also, Cody, like the fact that they traded everything for Kyrie and now won't. Like, it's funny. If they do not make the play in, that's just so. It's sweet. really funny. Also, and fuck, they fuck Jason Kidd. Him. Yes. That's yes. important. Oh, God. oh, I'm on. I'm, I mean, as a very gigantic, you know, hater of the Lakers, I'm with you just because I can't deal with Kyrie's bullshit. The idea that they would have done all that just to completely fall apart, which. And then he I feel like I should have just bet on that they would miss the playoffs as soon as they traded for Kyrie. Because it had been fun to cheer for and then to see it actually, like, maybe happen. Well, to be honest, though, you could see they could maybe put it together, like, in a regular season because their offense is just so good. Like, you can see a world where they're going to outscore. In a yeah, exactly. In a series, they're fucked. But, like, regular season, oh, I did what? not think they would be this bad. This dysfunctional. I'm a little surprised that. They're losing to Charlotte twice in a row. But it's funny. Yeah. It's so hilarious. Were they. I love it. More so than were they. Yeah. <laughs> nice pass. Yeah. So oh. oh, and there's players near me. How could I make it? <laughs> I know. You're not Sean. <laughs> Excuse me. You are not doing this. Yeah. <laughs> you are not doing this. I want to be very specific about that. Whoa. Oh, God. And all four players were in a line. So when I threw it to the furthest <laughs> person, it just went down the line. Whoa. All right. Kareem is trying to chase you. It's not working. Oh. No. It I worked. Would... It worked. Man, I was passing. Oh. Dave, I'm sorry. Oh, we got him. You. I don't know how you got him, but impressive. Because I'm magic. Hi. Well, you uh, got him. Too late now. I don't know who's saying to pick on who there, but that's fine. Mary needs a touch. Oh, I joke. I hit it too early. God damn it. Cody, I was so open. By the way, the, the end, I, I, of, the, I really the end of the Mavericks-Lakers thing, this is going to be a lot more psychologically damage, damaging to the Lakers, or the Mavericks and the Lakers. The Lakers are still the Lakers if they lose this year, if they miss the play in. Like, yeah, it's a scar, but, like, it doesn't matter. The Lakers, they have 17 yeah. titles. They Luka's have whatever. not happy. But all the hear? Mavericks fans <laughs> who keep posting that same fucking picture of him grinning up at Booker, and, which wasn't uh -huh. in that game, by the way, uh -huh. can fuck right off. As far as I'm yep. concerned, they can all die in a fire. So I laugh because had the Suns won Game 7, that picture would have an entirely different meaning of, like, Oh, look at my daddy up there. <laughs> yeah, it is kind of a shame. Obviously, we wanted to win that series for any number of reasons, but the f like the whole like Luca special thing would have absolutely stuck if we hadn't got our ass oh, yeah. kicked. Absolutely. Oh, oh that's the I didn't, didn't right. even see it. Sorry. <laughs> I didn't want to shoot it. I'm scared. <laughs> Don't want to ruin the percentages, Chris. Legitimately had no Man. idea at all. <laughs> but Luca saying, "I'm not happy anymore," playing. 
Mavericks fans convinced he's going to ask for a trade. It's just beautiful. Like our team can it. be, our team can be whiny sometimes. We're on the higher yeah. side of average when it comes to whiny, especially because like of Chris it. Paul, Booker a little bit at times, Monty at times. Luca complains every single play. That is not hyperbole. That is not exaggeration. Even Mavs fans are like Luca, please, like God, please yeah. stop. We love him, but it's a problem. Yes. But, well, you know what I want the okay. most? That's Sean Marion. Oh God! Nah. <laughs> well, Traitor! Her. Is um, I want Luca to miss the plane completely, and people treat him like they did Devin Booker a little bit. Yeah, you know? I would love like that. The, oh, he can't win. He's he can't win with the team. Look what they got him, and he can't win. It should happen that way. I don't know it that won't. it will. It won't. But no, people love him too much. I don't know why. The surrounding cast still sucks. So even though it's got well, he finally has a second star with Kyrie. It's like yeah, but does he? Because that roster sucks, and it, no matter what Kyrie well, does in the offseason, they're still screwed. I, 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 I really I hope, hope Kyrie God goes he leaves. Else. I know. I hope to God he leaves too, because that the roster will absolutely blow. Oh. I guess in a way, maybe I don't hope he leaves, because <laughs> then that clears up like some space for them to sign somebody else. But who else are they gonna get? Well, there's a no. bad free agent class coming. Yep. I should have passed it sooner. That's not a thing. Maybe they can't have a bad free agent class. No, they can, even though they're always up every four years. No, it can't happen. What if Dallas gets Wemby? <laughs> It's like, yeah, Dallas I mean, has a championship, they, oh. and it was a beloved one with Dirk and Wouldn't blah, blah, blah. Wouldn't you be blah. really oh. suspicious if that actually happened? Oh, yeah. Like, even if they fall to where they're, like, they're the seventh most likely oh, my God. and they magically oh. end up with it, <laughs> it'll be pretty suspicious. It's bad to get four possessions. We're only up by seven. I know. And we've been, like, I don't know. Like We're everything. shooting, like, 90 bad either, really. That's what I was say. Sometimes... Jeez. Weird. Sometimes, like, we, especially as Suns fans, when we're watching our own team, we'll be like, oh, they haven't even played that well, and they're in this game. You know? Yeah. They were shooting 36% when we played Utah the other night, and they were still winning. You're like, hey, like, that's pretty good. Here, we've actually played well, and we're only up seven. So it's like, hmm. Okay. Whoa. Had to make some weird spacing, but it's fine. When in doubt, go to Cody. I have 41% of the assists. Wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> On a team that has several, several good passers. Mm -hmm. Then again, I take the fewest shots of anybody by far. So, <laughs> shoot Kareem. Well, I don't know about from there. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I try to stop him. Might be a little bit too much of a runway. <laughs> I, I try to stop him, but... Hmm. I don't think you tried hard enough. I didn't see the blood, sweat, and tears. Yeah. Oh. The classic. <laughs> the Jason Richardson. Will I change the animation? No. Never. <laughs> No, I refuse. Because <laughs> it's such an outlandish dunk, I can't help but be amused every time. Yes! Oh, dead. I, I, I like the give Cody a whole, full head of steam. And here you go, buddy. Go get it. And then I just floated in and laid up. It's great. Yes. You don't dunk it, as you should. I, I want one rebound today, Cody. No. One. I want 20. You can have one after one? I 20. I hope I I, I do a Chris Paul in game one of the finals where I take your 20th rebound in the last moment. Well, why? That'd be great. I don't know. <laughs> I asked very politely for 20, and you <laughs> were being really rude about wanting one. Well, so. remember when you screamed at me, no! I don't think that was very polite. You got a point. Well, agree to disagree. <laughs> Cody, who, who would you rather see miss the playoffs? <laughs> Okay, I'm, t I'm tired of the big men dribbling, so I'm going to go ahead and keep putting a stop at that. I know you're not that invested anymore, but... No, no, I am. Um, I really have a problem with Kyrie, and yeah. so it's probably it's probably Dallas. Okay. Mark Cuban's gotten on my nerves. There were actually now. a lot of Dallas fans that were like, guys... What the fuck? He was in another world. Guys, why are we happy that we traded for Kyrie? Like, he really is a piece of shit. Yeah. yeah. Are we really willing to like overlook that because he's good at basketball like what are we doing they like wrote articles about it on the Mavs site my my problem is Laker fans are so fucking it's the annoying fans I will agree with that that like the oh. second they have a chance of being competent it's going to upset me again and I'll forget everything I just said Perfect. big pick Especially I mean, because the, I mean, the blog I work for for the Dodgers naturally a lot of those people are also Lakers fans, so Lakers conversation ends up, you know, a bunch of the Dodgers conversation that I have to deal with, and so I have to see it and read a bunch of it in like the Discord that's part of the blog that yep. I work for. And I'm like, I don't care, I don't fucking care, I don't care. This is about Dodgers. Who cares about the Lakers? Fuck off. And the, so the sooner they're gone, 
Well, Sooner looks really good for me. <laughs> no votes. <laughs> yeah. That's kind of mean to put that graphic up. Yeah. It is. It votes. None. Let's show you who's eighth in the conference in voting. You're like, well, fuck. <laughs> hey, I got one! Because I contested the shot. You're welcome. Yeah. There wouldn't one. have been a rebound. Oh! Well, they tried to reward I you. I hit the and... button. I don't know I why just, it didn't work. I actually I just bunny it hopped it, and it was like, oh. Well, there was a defender right there, but besides that, I mean. Well, I'm tall. Oh, he's man. nine feet tall. Come on. Yeah. The, the, the defender wasn't, it wasn't two defenders stacked on top of each other. He got a rebound and immediately turned it over is what I'm saying. Yes. Yeah, he did. Because I tried to reward Cody. I like the idea that I just deliberately didn't press the button, so he got a turnover. That's pretty funny. Man, who is so bald. Got, he is he's really got really bald. Is this man mind? is bald. <laughs> Why is he so bald? I mean, can you guys miss a shot so I can get an offensive rebound? <laughs> Our offensive rebound numbers will be terrible because there aren't any. <laughs> there, there aren't. There are none. It doesn't happen anymore. What the? How did he dribble that ball? I don't know. It's a mystery to me. I forgot John Wall was the best player in the league. I mean, I know you know pre-injury John Wall was really good, but still, like, jump shooting was never really his strength. It was kind of always the bugaboo, actually. Uh oh. Got pushed. Oh boy. Oh. Oh wow. Yeah. I really got bailed out there. That was not a foul. You did. Shaq's pissed. Okay. He sh he should be mad. That was bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> well. Uh, that's trying the wrong way. Mm -hmm. Also, that seven, that one seventeen point one looked slightly higher than the other seventeen point one. <laughs> yeah. Somebody was sleeping when they made the bar graph. <laughs> that wasn't just my eyes. How is Harden this year? He's like he's kind of he's, pretty good. He should right? have been an all star. Okay. He's doing pretty good. He's not super fat. Are we scared of Philly no. in the playoffs? No. 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 Not in the finals. Katie. No. I'm okay. scared of one team and one team only. Yeah. Same. I mean, unless we lose Durant and then well, sure. anything can no, happen. I'm scared of like yeah, yeah, 11 right. teams. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <clears throat> By the way, I gotta put this out there. We might as well use this as a platform. I thought about talking about it on the podcast at some point, but fuck it. If we do win the title this year, or next year with Durant, whatever, I'm gonna be so fucking toxic. <laughs> it's your time. So fucking toxic. It's, just, it's your time to be toxic. I'm gonna be obnoxious. I'm gonna go on every other team's fucking Reddit. I'm gonna have receipts. I'm gonna be the biggest asshole on the planet. I love it. And that wouldn't have been the case two years ago. Because uh -uh. that was you know, a very happy to be here kind of thing. They exceeded expectations. We were like the young upstarts. For the most part, we were liked. Although Sons and Four Guy was already starting to wear on people even then. The um, guy with his money, the money at the fucking finals it. game. You know, all that shit. Now, <laughs> yep. scorched earth, man. All your dipshit memes. That was not who I passed that to at all. But I'm sure it's fine. I'm sure it's fine. Give me nine turnovers while we're at it. Fuck it. Why not? You're gonna leave the I, turnover percentage, I, I, I'm, I'm of the opinion we ha we have to win this year for Al. Yeah, Just, I'm, I'm with you. Yeah, I felt that I mean, way about the Dodgers and Vince Scully. It didn't go much yeah, better. I, I had it stolen from me. But yeah, he was but alive. He was alive, to, technically. <laughs> at least Vin got to call World Series, you know, wins. Yeah, you're right. Al McCoy never got to call a finals win. You're right. That's fair. That so, is much different. that's why. Got to do it this year. Jesus. We all jumped at him. And we actually got the rebound. Wow. Mm -hmm. That was Sean Marion, because he didn't jump. <laughs> he wasn't fooled like the rest of us. Ah, he really, I hit the button. He really wants that alley-oop. I hit the I button. What I like about that is that's actually a missed shot for Cody now. Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> My secret sauce. It's fine. I don't care about my shot percentage. Oh, oh. It's just all about the rebounds, baby. Oh, nice pass. It was funny. I was smashing. I thought it was coming to me, so I was smashing pass to you in the corner. No, 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 don't do that. Don't do a running three, mm. please. I want the ball. Oh, I wanted the ball. What? Six seconds. <sighs> yeah, Jesus. I'll bail you out. I'll bail you out. Oh, no, you got it. Nice. I thought you had actually, I thought he had followed me out of the corner, and it turns out he didn't. But it worked. Everything's fine. It's all good. I got confused because I'm guarding Sean Marion, but Sean Marion's down there. Right. Is he friend or foe? We'll never know. <laughs> Fucking screens. You want me to help you? So, the most basic of basketball strategy. Fucking screens. <laughs> so I watched uh, oh. game, game three of the 93 finals the other day. Because NBA.com actually made like all the finals games available. Oh, nice. Um, I was like, you know what? I haven't watched this game in like 10 years. Um, man, the basketball is not as good. No, it's not. Oh, God. It's, so, it's not even close. It's, it's hilarious now watched. watching people try. And it's also not nearly as physical as the mythology surrounding oh, like yeah. late 80s, early 90s basketball either. 
the uh, I remember watching the uh, Jordan 50 point, 55 point game. I think it was game four of that finals, and I was just like, oh boy. he's open. He's fucking open so much. Yeah. Well, the and bigger problem, the bigger problem, and I knew this before Last Dance. I knew this before this rewatch. Like I've known this, but it was never more clear than this game. Jordan gets by everybody with his first step. Yeah. Mm-hmm. There is nothing like his first step. Now, a lot of players can do that because the defense is kind of bad when they're not hand-checking, but in general, he in particular just gets around his defender every time. And he, these are good defenders for their time, like Dan Marley, but it doesn't matter. He looked like he was not of their generation. Yeah. I remember when I like watching him play. His athleticism is unparalleled in that yeah. era. Yep. And no, it, does it hold it, a candle to today? No, like of course not, but... Oh. Ooh. Oh my! But you showed him. In <laughs> but in a way, it's kind I'll of like my offense back in the one or, or Will back in the '60s. It's like, wow, he can't even like he's just leaps and bounds ahead of everybody. Yeah. And if you put him in today's game, he'd be very, 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 very good. But would it be that? Hmm? And by the way, oh, I'm tired of him. Um, he was really bad in that game three. He was like yeah. one for twelve in the fourth quarter and first overtime combined. Ooh, he pulled a Kobe. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not saying like, oh, Jordan sucks now, because I'm just saying like it was striking because you're like, oh yeah, of course, like, Jordan had like 31 through three, and you're like, oh, he's just waiting for him to take over, and he just keeps missing shot after shot. <laughs> Nobody remembers that. I didn't. Ten seconds. <laughs> well, I was to you. Chris, Nobody on the Nets want to just step in front of me at all. That was to you. Oh, boy. Oh, oh. my. <laughs> ah, boo. Boo. Should have made it. It's also really funny watching the spacing. I mean, obviously, the game has changed dramatically, so I get it. I'm not like, <laughs> the game sucked. But, like, you'll have – remember when we made fun of the Morrises for, like, passing Ooh, to each other shine. from, like, 20 feet to 18 feet to 16 feet? That was just strategy in the 90s. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Let's let's get a Bill, let's get an entry pass here. All right, so Jordan's got it from twenty feet. He's gonna give it to Bill Cartwright, who's at sixteen feet. Okay, cool. All right, there's Horace Grant from twelve feet. Oh, he's still covered though, so we'll see. Oh, here's Jordan. Now he's on the low block from ten feet, <laughs> and a shot. And you're like, well, uh, but <laughs> they don't play any defense nowadays. Yeah, let's let if we did have a time machine, nothing would be funnier than putting Steph Curry in the seventies and being like, <laughs> okay, figure it out. <laughs> I, you know, I don't know about, I agree with you in a lot of ways, but putting Russell Westbrook in like the 50s would be like, what is this alien? What I mean, yeah, there's a lot of different examples you could go to. I just think the Steph Curry one in particular is funny because I think shooting that good from that far would be considered actual witchcraft. Like you would think the Salem witch trials were 200 years earlier, but no, they would still think there was witches. Yeah. Mm. I do why, like why that. They're just like walking that? up the car and just flicking it and then just... I don't like that. Just the shot selection like to begin with. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> That's almost the thing. Curry would need to, like, get his coach's blessing in a way. <laughs> because the game is so different, the coach would fucking pull him when he took so many yep. threes. Dan Marley but, is 5 of 6 in that game from 3. He's one off the finals record at the time, which was 6. Yeah. Was like a four-way tie. <laughs> and he takes a 3. Sorry, my bad. Jesus oh, Christ. my God. He takes a 3 with the shot clock expiring from, like, 29 feet kind of almost curry range and the announcers are appalled and it's like he has to shoot this there's two on the shot clock and they're yeah. like an audacious shot by dan marley and you're like god that's like 16 times a game now yeah <laughs> i'd love to see them their commentary on uh dame pulling up from half court on yeah. the they, would, they would agree with paul george <laughs> that's a bad, bad shot, shot. <laughs> <laughs> Although Dame has since come out and been like, yeah, that was a bad shot. <laughs> it was a bad shot. But yeah. But it was a good was bad shot. Look, Paul George is right. It was a bad shot. But he fucking made it. So, eh. I don't even know if it was a bad shot. I was going to say, like, ba- a little ill-advised. He should have said, like, yeah. that's a shot you live with. Like, yeah. you've been playing yeah. defense. He's pulling it from half court at the end of the game. You live with that shot. Uh, he made it, though. Oh, Guy, it's somebody pressed the button. Now we got colors. Oh, shit. Taste the rainbow. Oh. Oh, my. And then went up quickly before the shot block came in. 10 run, I think. No. We sent people their, ball, the, their yeah. shots like the hell. So. <laughs> oh. I got into his chest. Wow. Runs broken. We have not. This is like. 
uh, one of the fir- one of the first times either team has shot free throws this game. Yeah, uh, Cody had many, a I shot four. Yeah, I mean when I've gotten you know run down the. I actually, don't even remember you shooting free throws. So I, I shot them very quickly. <laughs> I press the button, get over, get over, we get my two points. Oh, 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 that's just not oh, close down. Oh, my God, you got the ball. He was near me. Oh. Rebound. Now that you've mentioned the lack of fouls, though, there's going to be a million. Good job. That's why, like, I think Jordan, in my opinion, is, is still the greatest. Is like, he was, like, in this transitionary period. Like, he ushered in this new wave of athlete. And I don't know where we're going to see that. I, I don't know how we could see that again. It's just different. But maybe I they mean, thought that in the 50s. And <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it's like, hard to argue, I, again, between eras. And, like, I, Wilt is always the outlier as far as dominance goes just because he was so unlike anything else at the time. But it's like, I don't know if anybody else stands out from their peers like Jordan did. Yeah. I just don't. Not even LeBron, who is a physical freak. Mm-hmm. And definitely changed the game in several ways, but I'm like, yeah, but you have I, like, you. Have, I mean, you have Giannis in now in the same time when like LeBron exists. Like, I feel like the phys- the physicality wise, like, not that that's Whoa. he's comparable <laughs> in the same type of way, but like, there's some kind of a peer. Yeah, but there's also the flip side of the ability of someone like Steph or Dame to, in a way, negate that. You yeah, know what I mean, exactly. yeah, yeah. And that's, I think, the problem with LeBron, if you're going era by era, is, like, Steph changed the game more than LeBron did. Yes. Mm-hmm. yes. Absolutely. Yep. And that's not a slide against LeBron, but... Uh, I don't know. I'll, I will point to LeBron going to eight straight finals is a pretty fucking good accomplishment. It, it, it is, no doubt. It was also against shit competition for most of it. True, but those last couple, he fucking dragged the Cavs there. He did. Before, before he did. Conference. But, man... I like to think the Suns had a, you know, influence in the league, but yep. Steph just took that and like. Oh yeah, to extreme. By magnitudes. Uh, oh boy. Uh, okay. Those, well, oh well, that's Kevin Durant. I mean, the Suns will still get some credit for seven seconds or less, no matter what. Yeah. Even though obviously Steph Curry took it to like twelve, but I, I don't know. It's tough because like. They were pioneers for their time. When you look at the stats for them, like just team stats and pace and stuff, now it doesn't look like anything. But back then, especially because we were all watching back then, we remember how bad basketball was in, like, 2002. Yeah. I couldn't watch it. I, man, I remember when I was in high school, 99 to 2003, I literally didn't watch the NBA at all. They gave Granted, I was playing high school basketball for that. Yeah, I mean, you and I knew each other then, and we yeah. didn't watch Suns games. Nope. Nope. I watched the one playoff game where Marbury made his shot. I didn't even watch that. I only watched it because we happened to have it on. It was like the first day of Kairos. We happened to have it on the TV in like the living room. Man, I watched every Suns game probably from like... I want to let me think about this. Never mind. It was, it was in my area. Like 92 to 2007. It's just like that I was remember. how I spent my nights. It's like the new Suns game broadcast is gonna be on. Turn it on. I remember, um, I remember being moving into my sophomore apartment in college, and then my roommate turned on the Suns game after they signed Steve Nash. And I'm like, oh yeah, the Suns. And then I start watching. I'm like, oh yeah, this is why I love the Suns. Oh my god. I just throw it past. That's the why you watch the Suns know. right there. <laughs> Let me tell you though, watching them like in the mid '90s, uh, it was not great. <laughs> we had such a good team and just underperformed all the time. Yeah, yeah. It was easy to see why it fell apart. That's why. Yeah. Even that team was a little bit ahead of its time. I mean, that team was running like Tom Chambers at center for stretches. Yeah. I guess the lineups with like Bill Cartwright no. and those type of players in them. A little bit of a small ball type of thing. Like Ainge and Chambers closed those games with, you know, the three of KJ Barkley and Marley. Mm-hmm. Like it was not Mark West. It was not Oliver Miller. And this was not common for the mid 90s. You got to have the big guy. Yeah, you got to be able to control the pain. How are you going to, you can't, what are you going to not rebound? Didn't Penny and Kid play like five games together or something it terrible? Was bad. 
Backcourt 2000, Sean. <laughs> huh? Backcourt 2000. Yeah, and exactly. <laughs> exactly. I remember that whole thing being hyped up, and I'm like, and then I, remember, I was on a school like uh, trip for my American history credit. We know like the Eastern Seaboard, and I remember being like, oh, Jason Kidd's off the team. Mm, that sucks. Oh well. <laughs> easy come, easy go. Yeah, kind of, because I liked Jason Kidd when he first got traded. I was like, yes, I love this guy. There's plenty of short-lived partnerships, though. Hell, we've seen some in the modern NBA. I mean, Cam Johnson's already scored more points for the Nets than Ben, than ben Simmons has. <laughs> <laughs> Mikhail did that in his first, like, five games. Yeah. And we've already obviously been down the road of how little Harden, Irving, and Durant played together. Yep. I mean, the Luka Kyrie okay, at breakup, uh, just wait for that to finish. <laughs> yeah, like, no, no, no version of Shaq was ever good at free throws. Yeah, no. So, peak Shaq, take bullshit. your pick of, like, prime Shaq. doesn't matter. They're, what? Yeah, bullshit. On, I get that everyone makes them in this thing, and we never miss any, but bullshit on him making both of them. I mean, you Amazing saw me. You saw the passing animation. There was just no ball in it, so that was cool. That's fine. I won the nine turnovers. It's great. It's you can get a, tri you get a triple double, Chris. Here's Chambers. Oh my god, you guys. Fucking Marion popping the ball up so open. Sean wants Record breaker. Oh shit. Oh man. You okay. guys broke. <laughs> and there's still three and a half minutes left in the third quarter. Sweet. <laughs> you want to get to 20, you Sean? 50, you made 15 threes. Are you fucking serious? <laughs> I didn't really yes. see it. <laughs> and playing stalwart defense. There it is. I, wow. I had no idea you had made 15 threes. I don't know how to play this game. I'm going to break a record. I mean, it, I knew it was getting up there. <laughs> I think I thought Dave was shooting some of them. We're actually stopping <laughs> the game for this, I think. Yeah, they are. <laughs> There's a man who knows something about three-pointers. <laughs> wow. Why are we congratulating me? <laughs> well, I think we just segued into, I think we segued into a timeout, but I'm not. No, I'm going to let this play out because I'm curious. Also, Nash right, we're done as now. a coach and Nash is on our team. Mm -hmm. so, yes, it was fine. Two James Harden. Two, two models, though. Two different two, models. Two, yeah, that's also true. All right, they want you to run the offense. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> You're the new record breaker, so. There you go. Have another one. <laughs> Stop the game. 16th. New Stop. record. Yeah, it's a new record. <laughs> More confetti falls. <laughs> Guys, Actually, they're furiously I, I shredding more colored construction paper. When, when LeBron came back from his injury and he scored a bucket, it's like, all right, well, we got to stop the game. New scoring record. Oh, so <laughs> the bucket counts, but loose ball foul. All right. Makes sense. It was off in time. Yeah. Every, so every bucket LeBron breaks, every bucket LeBron has is now a new scoring record, right? Every Le bucket LeBron has. Damn it. I was late on that, Chris. My bad. It's fine. What oh, skill was they watching were they Drake well, Drake like heard De DeMar DeRozan's name and they start laughing with Will Ferrell what? He's like DeMar I hear it de less I like it. <laughs> What? <laughs> it's really funny. Uh, some kind of skit for something and I don't know what it was. Hilarious. They're doubling you, Sean. <laughs> <laughs> it took him until he got the record for the fun to go wait a minute. <laughs> I actually like to imagine they didn't know until they put the record up on the fucking Jumbotron and the... He's made three-pointers? What? Oh, my God. <laughs> we need to make an adjustment. I didn't even Oh, jump. that was what? good D. See, we talked about the fouls. Oh, my God. That was great defense. The refs didn't know about the fouls either, so we said something. We're the ones spreading awareness. Fuck. Okay, I'm mad. That, I think the skill was, like, more important than the passes is the celebration... Or the scoring is the celebration after the scoring. If you don't yeah. high five correctly, we will trade you. <laughs> That's good. I don't know what it was God. for. It was some, some skit for something. Maybe it was for the All Star game. Was it Peyton Manning with it? I'm sorry. Do you want to lose? <laughs> it was ba 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 basketball. <laughs> give me, give me, give me the ball. Oh God. yeah, that was that was always intercepted. Get deleted. <laughs> Just erased from existence. Jesus. Here, Sean. Back door. Ah. Oh. Hand off. DHO. There we go. I'm a little Watch deep. Watch it. I'm a little deep. 17. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. I you know, finally got one. <laughs> normally, I'm not into Sean breaking, like, scoring records. But you know what? Fuck it. Let's go. <laughs> Let's get Sean 20. Why not? <laughs> 
I love that they're in the bonus. Though. This is going to be used against him win. in the future, though. Good. <laughs> Everything gets used against me all the time. The I mean, it's already too late. So if uh, if we go for it, it, he won't get it. Like it's not how these things work. You know, it's like you play baseball. Blow the offense. You try to hit a home run, and you're not going to. That's what got us to this point. That was in the home run derby. They tried to hit home runs. Well, well, they hit him in the I home mean, runs derby, and then their screen's uh, swing is busted for nah, weeks. That's a myth. That's not real. <laughs> Prove I it. hate that. I you, people have. I fucking hate it. <laughs> yeah, I thought it was kind of silly. Oh, it's like I just I forgot how to swing. I swing I hard for like a, life, 20 right? minutes, and now I don't know what to do anymore. It's like, oh, I got tired at the end of the year from being past the halfway point. I mean that. I, that's more. That's what happens. You can't lose him if he's made 113 threes in the game. <laughs> like you gotta maybe like give up the other thing underneath the screen, but so not not is that, that. 17 now. Wait, why am I guarding him? That's not my man. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> I, I really just tried to cheat. That was all that was. I can't block the shot through the rim, but I tried. Oh, I tried. Right. 18. <laughs> 10 seconds. You're still in the third quarter, Sean. We're, yeah, we're not even trying. <laughs> I mean, if we really focused and just fed you and set back screens for you, I, I, I don't know how many you could hit, but it's a lot. I mean, as a lot of... I, <laughs> I'm forcing a few now that it's like in the record, but I was taking a lot of them like what I felt like was in the flow of the offense. Yep. Well, that shot, that one that in particular. Many that were forced. Also, the first shot you hit at the game was only a two. It yeah. wasn't actually a three either. So you basically were half a step off of one more. <laughs> we got a Dave highlight, a highlight in there though. Dave has. Nothing. I've got a, I've got quite a few assists. I think this game. Dave, I'm not Dave has like four assists. Rate. <laughs> I have like six what turnovers. Oh. We don't get an assist to the game. I had a tomahawk dunk blocked. I didn't press a button. Yeah. I didn't. And it definitely wasn't you. So I pushed matter. a button. We're going to have share play problems. We Sean, are. thanks for stopping the game. <laughs> foul. Oh. No, you fall down all the time. No, that, that, means was, that one was actually a foul. No. Because you lead the I mean, NBA in assist. Shocker. Cody, you're made of glass. All right. I haven't been hurt yet. Uh, oh, oh, God. I thought we had it. <laughs> Shit. I also, He's too big. We couldn't see who had it. Is also, it's it's 100 against us. Mid range. 116 through three is kind of insane, I think. Right. I, oh. to be Sean. I also didn't know why he was going to do that. Here's money. He's covered by Ginobili. All right, we got this. Over here. Yes. That was like a really <laughs> nice play. <laughs> I saw the double screen. I'm like, I got this. We've only made six more threes. That's insane. That's what's kept them in the game. I mean, they've been as close as 13 not that long ago. Oh, it's a, oh, we just keep it threes. Cool. Yeah, well, that's the thing we needed these teams to do more often. Because the problem with all the all-time teams we used to do, especially like the old teams, was like yes. two threes. Yep. So it's like, let's play the 93 Bulls. And it's like, yeah, but they're going to lose because they're going to try and shoot like mid-range jumpers the whole time. Yep. <laughs> but not at the efficiency of like the current day Suns. Yep. That I, Dave involved. I don't want him to yep. lose interest. <laughs> no, but I, I was definitely losing interest. He's trying to get his four assists. I mean, that's just gonna keep passing it to Sean, hoping Sean makes threes. <laughs> yeah. No, I hit the wrong place. Who would do such demonstrably stat padding behavior? <laughs> Nobody, <laughs> other than Dave. <laughs> Who in that, that world? Evil, I've never done. Who in this room like would do that. anything of that nature? Ricky Davis? <laughs> oh no! Oh, that was so fast. Giannis and Dave Kumpo. Really yeah. yeah, I think the closeout. I think Giannis would probably try to do some stat padding. Mine. He tried. He tried, and then they took it back, which I loved. That was pretty I funny. I mean, guys. Oh, <laughs> Jesus. Yeah. It looked like you were flying. <laughs> you had such a clear pass at the basket. I was like, please let this actually get to him. I see. If you cock that back, Mano gets it. But yeah. <laughs> I won't change it. I actually like that dunk. I don't I'm know a... if I chose it or if you chose it or if the game chose it. But I don't think I went into duck pants. I, I... I've done so many versions of these creative yeah. players. I think I've given up on like dunk I packages. I like that dunk and... a lot. It was pretty. Yeah. Pretty stupid. <laughs> da, 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 Are we close to the All Star break? Oh come on! Uh, I, getting there. I think I'm in the I three point contest. The, uh, three point, the three Fucking point leader. Are you too, Dave? Yeah, me and you are both on there. Yes. Kevin Love. Kevin Love setting. Pity subs. Yep. Already. Well, so twenty eight. Three. With six minutes left. It's really early. Okay. Who's number fifty three? No, that was Sean Marion. 
20? 20. Uh, is Kevin love guarding me? Yes. Well, he's going to try. Well, okay. That should be Marcus Canby. No way, yeah, that's Marcus Canby. That is, Miami, by the way. I don't know, his name's Canby, so. Well. It has to be Marcus Canby, but how? How, how would he be on an all time team? A bad it, I mean, it, team? Peak Marcus Canby was probably like an 87. Super hard time. That good? Very good defensively. Yeah. yeah. Kind of slept on him in the conversation of all time defenders, to be honest. Well, Dave, Dave's sleeping on him right now. He was the reason the Blazers were going to upset the Suns that year, if you recall. I, I will never forget. Go, I went to game one of that series, and Marcus can be shooting free throws like this. Yeah, <laughs> threw me off so badly. Oh, foul him. It goes around the world just la 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 la. <laughs> they never played that well again, even when they no. beat us in another game in that series. No, oh, they played that first game, and I thought the world was ending, and then yeah. we fucking killed them. They've been overrated for ah oh, fuck. Oh. They've been overrated for quite some time. Chris still hates them. I do. It's irrational. I'll admit it. <laughs> I don't hate them as much as like the Mavs or Lakers or something, but I'm always just kind of like, ah, Portland. Actually, here's a really good question for Suns fans. Who do you hate more, the Spurs or the Mavs? Not today, just in general. In general, the Spurs. In, mm. The yeah, Mavs are going to have to do a whole hell of a lot more than what, yeah, one year. Fair. At this like moment, the Mavs, of course, but yeah. overall, like hatred, oh, I mean, okay. I lost so much sure. sleep over the Spurs for years and years. I get it. Oh, come on. I was trying to feed you for the last three years, Cody. <laughs> now he's dead. <laughs> and no one cares. I just want to point that out. Yeah, no one it's really the, does It's care. the thing from Jurassic Park. You I, fall on the ground. It's like, see? Nobody cares. I think the cherry on top was when <laughs> our players got suspended because it felt like the league was just out to get us. And yes. to then find out they were out to get us yeah. because the officiating was corrupt. Yep. 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 Which I still can't believe, like, I guess I can. Some shit talking. But it's like, all that stuff comes out, and then, like, that's it. Like, no one really cares. And, like, Scott Foster is still in the league. Yeah. I know. And everybody, like, they had D'Angelo Russell on the bench mic'd up talking about the fact that Scott Foster was the referee for that game. Scott Foster, baby. And they're like, eh. It's, it's, what, whatever. It's not like the rest have integrity issues right now. Oh, you could have fouled him. That was your chance. I tried. <laughs> I thought I was down there. I wish you would just tackle them, Cody. You just, there's, a, there's a button to intentionally foul. Oh, what is it? Uh, You're not gonna ever. Uh, I don't well, know if I want to reveal that. It's, it it's was like telling Dave what the alley oop button is. Yeah, I couldn't get that. It's, I think it's a touchpad. I think it's a touchpad. Ooh, that's really easy. Should I have? It's a big button. Was it? But would you get your seconds basically as soon as you pass it? It's my fault. Because yes. I was like, if I, I would, okay, yes, okay, fault. okay. I got stuck and I couldn't get any space, and I tried to pass out and run out, and it didn't. Work. Well, you passed out, all right. Ginobili's been in this game forever, and, he and then, like he was off the bench, and now like has not. He's sat. Got yeah, he's minus nineteen. Jesus. That's good. <laughs> That's exactly how many points he has. That's so weird. <laughs> Sometimes plus minus is a perfect stat. Ah, that's too close to their shot. Uh oh, that was not good. I got it. I'm open. <laughs> miss, miss those. No, we're gonna pass it out to you. My points. You come rebound. Three is worth more than two, Cody. I know. You but come his, rebound. But his two percent is better. Two point percent is better than your three point percent. Exactly. Also, I might turn it over if I try and pass out of that. I just box out. Wow. And oh, oh. He tried. But my stats. He wanted that so bad. God. This, I'm this even is sad right there. <laughs> I got more tweaking to do. I'll work on it. No, I'm good. My player's good. Of course oh, Shaq's back. If we want to hide an odd choice to have put the sadness lineup in, and then... They do this sometimes, though, because it's like they can't play the whole fourth quarter. The game thinks, like, oh, they're going to get too tired. or So it's like, all right, we'll so get the pity lineup. If line we up. won a game 150 to nothing, would you be okay with that? <laughs> if we won 150 to nothing? Yeah. Yes. By the way, what managers okay did was not a contest. <laughs> what, if we won, what if we won every game 150 to nothing? Sure. Would you get bored of it? He doesn't care. You're no, asking care. the wrong person about this right no, now. No, I'm asking him. I'm asking the right person because I want to see where his limits are. No, there are no limits. There are no limits. That's why you're asking the wrong person. The limit doesn't exist. Okay. 
That's, that's really the question I wanted to I literally can play Madden and win 140 nothing on like the second or third difficulty and I'm having the time of my life. Like I'm a guy who concerns himself about like balance and you know make, trying to make sure everything's about as even as I can. I don't want to be challenged. Even I'm going to get tired of it. I've done so many of these. I'm like, maybe I don't care if the games are close. Yeah. I don't want to be challenged. I'd rather have fun than do what we did at the start of this series where the game felt unplayable. Yes, exactly. I don't like to be challenged. I just want to win. No, I'm going to get it a little better than this. I don't want to be winning by 40. But. I mean, like... It feels soulless. The I'm not even, I'm the not even fucking around. The perfect yeah. balance is the most fun, but it's called the perfect balance for a reason. Like, it's not... Oh, oh. Okay. oh and, the, and the ball okay. hit him. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, God. Oh. Oh, and you pushed his face oh. and the ball hit him. Oh. Hmm. Yes. I mean, if shared play runs oh, out because of great. that, then that seems acceptable. That is absolutely one of the... the worst ones I've seen yeah. as of us playing this. That was just so much disrespect. Uh, no, Mono, you have to come out now. You can't. <laughs> yeah. You have to go back to your home you're country, entire. actually. Yes, actually, you're, you, we're deporting you <laughs> out of the United States. Yeah, go back to, like, Portugal or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> Genova uh, was an Italian guy. That's right. It sounds Italian. It doesn't sound Argentinian. <laughs> Whomever, whoever has watched this video for the longest time might remember we created Howie Mandel as a bench player <laughs> years, years and years and years ago yeah. and had the dunk of his life in one game. And we yeah, just he Tom Chambers somebody. <laughs> yes, he did. Ah, too late. Yeah. Too late. What? You stepped out of bounds. Yeah, by no going to your left, you stepped out of bounds. Yeah, there's a there's a white line. Yeah. And when yeah, you hit it that and way, you have the ball. No, uh, I'm sorry to say you went out of bounds. Oh, and Dave, it's not like soccer where, like, the ball uh, has to be fully out. Over. Your, body yeah. your body doesn't have to be fully out. Not that you know that rule in soccer <laughs> either. <laughs> See, but... out of bounds. <laughs> yeah, so I'm See, sorry to say you're out of bounds plus L plus ratio. <laughs> God, I hate that oh, term okay. so much. <laughs> Assist. Thank you, Dave. I literally just, I, hit, I didn't even know if it was coming to me. I just hit square because fuck it. Don't, don't say that. Chris doesn't like when you say that. If you haven't noticed, I haven't taken zero threes in this mm -hmm. game. Hey, Chris, be I'm, playing, I'm playing very cautiously. And if Sean having 18 threes is already a small fuck it as well. He has 23. Even if he's taking them in the offense, even if it's nothing wrong with it, it still makes me kind of go, mm -hmm -hmm. <laughs> I have played very politely because I got punished last time. <laughs> oh, <laughs> shit. Speaking of punish, here, punish the rim. I did. Let's Sorry. watch the replay of you jumping an inch. <laughs> I was gonna be, can I enter that for the dunk contest? I want that one. Put I, no, you're going to do something much worse for the dunk contest, <laughs> and you already know that to be true. Uh, nothing will be Manu last stat year. padding. Nothing will be Cody's dunk contest last year. Greatest. That was the greatest thing. No, it's impossible. Second place. All second place we're going to run it back, and it's going to be disappointing, but it's okay. It will be. I oh. keep trying. <laughs> that wasn't me that time to throw it. Really? I didn't even notice it was. It was Sean Marion. Oh, yeah. Okay. I don't know why he threw it. I definitely didn't call for it. I don't even know how to call for that. <laughs> I don't know if you can. Say, definitely wasn't me. I don't know how to do that. So. Oh, that was... Oh, God. Oh, boy. Why? Okay. Oh, boy. Oh, no. Yeah. See, he didn't even want that one to go in. Yeah, he <laughs> now knew. That's, now that's a problem. That knew was, what was going to happen. That was like such a slow fill on the meter. That was crazy. It's just you're in the zone. Yeah, yeah. You're feeling it. Yeah, you know what? Yeah, you're right. <laughs> With auto zone. I'm just in the zone. <laughs> oh. oh, shit. Ah! What oh, the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> the worst foul. It's uh, the charge-taking attempt. For all your trader attempts, I don't think you've ever assisted the other team in points. What just happened? Like I just did there. I didn't even know Shaq was down there. I left. I was gone, and Shaq just appeared magically. Yeah, no, 100%. No one misses. Yeah. Gotta tweak those two. Everything's making me twitchy now. <laughs> this isn't basketball. This is a farce. Where did Sha Shaq come from? Jesus. I'm assuming a land down under. I'm open. I, I was getting it to you. Calm down. You fucking well, well, missed. Betrayed. You fucking missed. That's the I shot that doesn't go in. Your do you want to waste your passes on, on that? <laughs> No, I don't anymore. See? Oh my god. Uh, I can't guard all of them. Uh, <laughs> There's so many. Hey! I get a Three, rebound. Two, I, mean, I had to do it. Man. One. Oh. He tried. Swish. Ah. Oh. <laughs> I was like, I'll give it to the guy who's made so many threes. He'll take the shot. Dunks it off. 
Sean just knew he fucked up one possession before, so. Yeah, he was gun shy. And now your player of the game. That's like John K, man. Yeah, probably. Let's go. Me, I think you had 50. Please. I think Please. Even with a record for I would threes. guess I scored too many points for that, but I really please. don't know. Please, please, you want more battle. The camera's on. Please, please, please. No! <laughs> I mean, that dunk may have been it. <laughs> Let's see. There's going to be a three point highlight in here somewhere, right? <laughs> there's one. There's one. Well, the, the, all the other shots he took were three, so it had to happen eventually, right. but it was funny it started with two dunks. It's nice oh, not to see right Cody's up. guy's name there for it's once. Really, it's not nice. It's upsetting. I'm really, I'm just so sad. I don't get to see my my dunk on Manu one more time. But it's all right. Do we have to save it or is it? We haven't uh, recorded. It's on YouTube. Is that what you're doing right now? It's yeah. true. But I wanted to do it like breakdown style from every angle. Oh, okay. But can't do it. It's all right. Oh. Seventy-two. <laughs> The oh, new Sun oh. scoring record. So this oh, means next Sean. time in the sim game, I'm gonna score like five points. Yeah. Oh my God, Sean. Four assists. Dave, you were right. You did rack up a lot of assists. Yeah. Um, I I mean, think about this. Sean scored 72 on 31 shots. I always look at What's... one and a half points per shot is pretty good. <laughs> really good efficiency. You scored 2.25 points per shot. With zero free throws. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so bad enough. And obviously he doesn't get free throws. He's shooting a bunch of threes. We've heard this before, but like... 31 field goals and no free throw attempts. <laughs> this is that, that this is like people historians will look at this game and be like what happened? <laughs> like how? This is where they go this is these are ethical baskets. These are, you know, farm bred yeah. <laughs> yeah. cage-free ethical bucket making. Locally sourced, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> One of my two missed shots was that stupid fucking alley oop from Dave, really. Two of them. Two of them. Two of them. Now I missed a shot early, very early in the game against Shaq. Oh. Mm. I had two end of quarter heaves and a blocked tomahawk dunk, and, <laughs> and then one shot that I just missed. That was my bad. <laughs> so really, I had six attempts when we don't count the end of quarter. So if you take off Sean's five awful missed threes, that and then an alley oop and then two heaves. That accounts for eight of our 20 misses. Cody, is 120 points between two players considered pretty good? I think it's pretty good. <laughs> Two-man game. <laughs> hey, what about 139 points between three players, huh? No, mm-hmm. no. Well, no. I mean, that's really impressive, but then... What about 155 <laughs> points between five, five players? players. <laughs> so there's a there's a joke um, that uh, one of the ASU broadcasters says he played in the game where uh, Eddie House scored 61 points in a college basketball game, and he likes to joke Eddie House and I combined to score 63 points that game. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. So you, Sean, you, you scored 46 percent of our 155 points. That's pretty good. I'll buy your I probably won't do that again, but I, like I hit a shot early and I was like, okay, so like, all right, right, I know how to play the game. Good. That's right. I know. Huh. The, the, so the crazy thing, Sean, is that you had two dunks and that first shot that should have been a three, but you were a step inside the line. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Those are the only twos you made. But aside from that, you could have had 23 threes yeah. and 73 points, really. That one st- it was one step back. It's okay. I beat, um, uh, who is it, Lillard, who got 71? Yep. And, and Mitchell. And, uh, yeah. and Mitchell. Poor wow. Booker. I know. Uh, let's see. Who Ginobili? What the fuck? Mm-hmm. He was stat, stat padding. Jeez. He had 19. Very James late Harden in the game, was killing yeah. us. Didn't mm-hmm. play much. Nope. Durant was kind of giving it to us. Didn't play much. Shaq. Shaq five steals, two blocks. Yeah, in addition to his, he filled it up. Yeah. So they weren't the problems. It was kind of everybody else. I mean, I guess JoJo White was fine, but how many turnovers did we have? For the team? 13. 11. 12. 12. Yeah, that's not bad. It's not bad. I only had four, and one of those wasn't my fault. <laughs> Man, it's a good thing I don't care about only taking six shots, so this would be such an, like, there'd be so much animosity in this series. <laughs> nah, we're good. <laughs> it's good. Yeah, but, like, I feel like if you cared, you would take more shots. Yeah. Yeah, I probably could. I set screens for you, and then... It's kind of yeah. more fun not to. And it's it's worse now with Cody. Yeah, uh, that sounds like I'm being mean to Cody. No. It's just in general, like there's. <laughs> I'm 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 the worst. It's called more mouths to feed, Chris. 
Can you go to the All Star break and see anything about the? Or oh, no, the All Star break a, is up there a bit. So we got to see if we're playing anything else beforehand. So I'm going to start the looking at break. these. Skip no, to the All Star break. We're going to see any other good teams in here. For the most part, they've been trash so far. Everyone's trash. We played the Mavericks twice, so I don't think we're playing them again. They want to do it again. They are still second in the West. God, for what it's worth. Raptors suck. We have there's no other like top five. Okay, here we go. The Hawks. That is a home game, so it's the only time we see them at home. They're second in the East. Mark Price, T Mac, Zabird, whatever that Chris Bosch is. <laughs> it's like a Chris Bosch ate the other Chris Bosch. So this team seems like it'd be in they're ranked second in the conference with George Mikan and Luca coming off the bench. Yeah, but I fuck George Mikan. Who else is hiding on this bench though? Because sometimes Ooh, some, some, some modernish player is hiding on that bench. And Luca's Luca, of course. George Mikan looking like Senator Armstrong here. <laughs> Nano machines. <laughs> I mean, I, I would play this one. I'm kind of interested. I know Cody's all about All Star Game. All Star also have Game. The Celtics is that home? No, that's road. All Star Game. The Celtics we haven't seen yet though. They're third in the East with Russ. Glide, Pip, Duncan, and Ewing. So very much a 90s team with a guy who plays like he's from the 90s, except with a lot more athleticism. Can't shoot. And then I don't know what Bill Sharman saw, but it looks like a ghost. Yeah, Fire so this is not a modern thing. team at all. Oh, yeah, Ming. It's cool. There's no one who can shoot at all on this team. <laughs> God, that, that we will run them. Yeah, but the that, we, that's not going to be a fun game. We would destroy them. But the Hawks look entertaining. We also play them both times before the All-Star break, so this is our only crack at them. Pacers, we already saw. They sucked. Kings, they suck. Clippers, we already played. So I think it's the Hawks. But then, Cody, it will be the All-Star break. Yes. Yep. So let's see how this goes. Loss, loss. loss. Win. L Win. ratio fell off. All right. So they're finally evening things out a bit. Sean, how many points did you score? How many games did it take you to score 72? One. One. I had 21 that game. <laughs> No, after that. So there's 21. Oh. Well, I got to go from the beginning because oh, yeah. it's more likely to have corrected at the start of that spree. All right, so 20. 20. On 7 of 20, so it kind of evened out. 4 of 13 and from 3. Mm hmm. Nope, wrong button. At 31. Oh, it's 51. Led the team. Nope, still a wrong button. Had 17 on so 6 si of 10. 68. Ah. Oh, three games. Ah. And was not in foul trouble, so that's kind of weird. So it took you three plus games to get to the total you got in our game. Had oh, thirty four. Okay. It hasn't over. It hasn't uh, corrected in that much. Thirty three. Thirty three. Yeah, corrected annoying. me for some reason. Yeah, this is getting annoying. Yeah, fuck you. So we'll have to look at all the stuff now, real quick. So let's look at team stats. I'm in the wrong spot for that. There we go. I'll fix it. <laughs> Again, I don't know why they've done this. There we go. Uh, that's not sorted by. There we go. Great. Ah, uh, you overtook it. That 72 points really helped you overtake it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> By 0. 0.7. Because you're only shooting 48%, well, 49 from the field. Yeah, you suck. That's taking, a little odd. Yeah, only nine threes a game. You're taking the most shots of anybody on the team. That's odd. But you have, hmm. like, more mid-range stuff. Because you're Channing Fry. Yeah. I mean, Manning Fry. <laughs> Man Manning Dry? Yes. So their shot profile probably leads you in that direction. We got to look at all-star voting. We got to look at everybody's favorite fucking player of the week. I would assume that indeed Sean was player of the week the week he had 72. Yeah, it makes sense. I respect that. Jordan got one. Player of the month. Yes! There's your January you wanted to yes! see last time. You wanted to see who was player of the month for January, even though it was like January 4th. I did. But now we can finally see. Yes! Dave cool, still really hasn't got one. That's what's most nothing. important. Okay. Fourth and sixth. It's very close. Kobe's got like a thousand have... more votes than Sean's guy and I a thousand be... less than me. Why is it so close? This is not how the vote. Well, I mean, I guess that the talent is a lot higher, so I guess it kind of makes sense. Whoops. Eastern Conference. There we go. Nope. This button. Got it. Uh-oh. That's upsetting. Eight. Now... Still eighth. I have a lot of problems with that because okay. I am the two-time player of the month. Yeah. And just I'm a freak. So why wouldn't you vote for me? I don't understand. It's a popularity contest, Cody. I mean, your numbers are almost 
Well, both of your numbers are a lot better than Carl Malone. Yeah, I, mm-hmm. and I also, you know, didn't, you know, molest children. So I don't understand. We don't know if he why. did that in this timeline. He did. Allegedly. Yet. I think in every timeline he did it. Okay. So maybe it hasn't happened yet, though. No, it already happened. And <laughs> here's this foolishness. So we're the top four uh, in the MVP race, but there we're we fourth, are. sixth, sixth, and eighth in All Star voting, which yeah. sounds like what the actual All Star voting. Yeah. What was it that got uh, Andrew Wiggins, the K-pop influencer? That's yep. what said that. I see. That's what I like to see. That's better. I'm also probably defensive player of the year. I'm really not so. excited. I'm not looking because it's that, that's guaranteed. Yes, that's fine. I don't want to see that. I do. I, I don't. I, will. I don't like you being MVP. I I do. I I like you very much. <laughs> Modern well, NBA, I don't know. We will probably accelerate through the second half of the season pretty quickly here. Um, but we'll have Hawks. We'll do the All-Star shenanigans. I don't want to play in the All-Star game, especially if we barely make it because we'll play like three minutes. It won't be worth loading into. Um, but we'll – I mean, we're already going to have played teams once a decent amount. We'll see if there's any other matchups lurking in here. I don't think we've seen the Bucks yet, no, because they're up there. So, like, that's a possibility. They're first in the East. We might play them with Braden Roy – I don't even know what else there is to say. See you next time.